Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, we are doing something that I've never actually done on the channel before, but a lot of people have, okay? And that is a makeup hacks video. Now, I will be honest with you and tell you, okay, that there is a reason that I've never done a makeup hacks video, and that is because I think makeup hacks are stupid. Can I even say that? Oh my God. Listen, I am all here and I'm super supportive of whatever tips, techniques, and tricks that you wanna do to finish your makeup routine. If we're being honest, if you're a beginner makeup artist, makeup can be really, really tricky and sometimes there are really helpful tips and techniques online. And as long as you feel beautiful and confident with the finished result, that is truly all that matters. So do whatever you gotta do. But the reason that I personally hate these like makeup hacks videos that have been popping up on TikTok and on YouTube and on my Instagram is because 99% of the time they just do not work. So for the past few weeks, I've been paying very, very close attention across all my different social media platforms at these advertisements for these makeup hack products that claim to make my routine 18 million times easier. They're all sitting here in front of me. And for today's video, we're going to put these makeup hacks to the test. Let's get started. All right, you guys, so before we jump into our actual makeup routine, this first hack is something that has to be done before the makeup goes on, and that is eyebrow lamination. Now, if you do not know what laminating your eyebrows is, basically it's like a technique that like locks your hairs in a certain direction. That sounds crazy. Let me just open this up and get this started so we can see what we're talking about here. It's like if you just like put brow gel in your hair and then just like left it there for a few weeks. Eyebrow lamination. Oh, keep eyebrows dry for 24 hours. I mean, if I'm just careful with my foundation, I feel like it'll be fine, right? YOLO. So first it says use cleanser, which is solution number four. Use a clean micro brush to apply lift solution. <laughs> oh my God. That smells rotten. Okay, I'm gonna just brush this through the hairs. <laughs> oh, it's warm. It's a chemical reaction. Okay, so I feel like in the meantime of the brow is really laminating, we could get started on another makeup hack. And this one I have honestly been the most excited to try, and that is this makeup brush cleanser. So basically what this is, is a fun little fish bowl, is literally what this looks like, a thing that looks like a nose hair trimmer. I'm gonna grab this Morphe M527. This is normally my bronzer brush, and as you can see, it is very, very dirty. It normally looks like this, so clearly quite the color difference going on. And I'm gonna grab one of like the little rubber thingies and shove it on the end. We're gonna shove this now onto our spinner like this. What is this? Oh. <gasps> what? Yes, Whoa, wait a second, how did it do that? Oh my God! We have our nice fish bowl filled with some cleansing solution and our water. Oh God, I'm scared. Dip, oh. oh she's Whoa, turning really turning around. This is taking too long, I'm already over this. No. <laughs> oh, oh. That's definitely not clean though, like. Uh, it's well, better. it's actually not. Okay, let's try this with a few other brushes before we make our decision. So I'm gonna grab this Morphe M433, and as you can see, this one has some nice red shadow on it. And if you remember back to 2018 when I released my palette, we know that this color stains. Yeah. And now we're gonna clean it off. <laughs> okay. Oh no, can you give a nice zoom in to that? Wait, here. Oh yeah. That's a nice and ruined brush right there. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits on this makeup brush cleaning hack. As you guys can see, both brushes are in fact actually clean, which is not really surprising to me. I mean, it's water and makeup soap and brushes, which is always gonna be a foolproof thing. We're really talking about this whole spitting situation as the actual hack. And I'm gonna say this absolutely would not recommend, and I'm going to tell you why, okay? When you're cleaning your makeup brushes, obviously everybody has different techniques. Some people don't even ever clean them, which, oh, okay, hello, very <laughs> much me sometimes. There are some definite recommendations and spinning your brushes at a very, very high speed to the point where they get flattened and ruin their shape is definitely not the ideal technique. I'll tell you that right now. They're going to basically like stay the shape forever. And then your $20 bronzer brush that you spent your hard earned money on is now going to be a nice little mushroom situation. All right, so moving on. At this point, I'm pretty sure we are very, oh. <laughs> That is triggering. The lifting solution has been on for 12 minutes now. So we're going to peel this off. Now we're gonna take another clean brush with solution number two, which is blue. Oh, this one smells fine. Oh, thank God, okay. And we're going to apply this to the brows once again. And I guess this is the solution that's going to like lock the brows in place. So we're going to make sure that we get them in the exact right position. 
Okay, now that we have the saran wrap on, I'm going to let the solution set once again for eight to 12 minutes. And this time I do not have any hacks to do in the meantime. So I'm going to set my alarm right now on my phone and we're going to cut and I will see you guys hopefully with some very, very fluffy brows. Oh, I don't think I like this. Now it says use the nutrition. It's gonna nourish and stimulate my eyebrows. Stimulate. I think the point is just to like give whatever direction you push them in, they'll go. <laughs> I mean, cool. I feel like it kind of, yeah, like this is, this is good. All right, you guys. Well, I think that is the eyebrow and lash elimination part of this makeup hack all complete. And I will honestly say, I feel like this was a definite success, which I was not expecting at all. I think this kit was like $40 on Amazon. And I'm going to put the link below if any of you guys want to actually check it out. I do not think that for me, this was necessary, but I do like the result a lot. I feel like this would be so, so useful to people who have a little bit of thinner brows or not as many brow hairs. I would definitely, definitely recommend um, just don't sniff solution number one and you should be good to go. Yeah, let's move on. <laughs> all right, you guys, so we are back and our base is all on, but as you can see, we're looking a little bit flat. We're all one color, which means it is time to contour. Now, normally I would just grab my contour kit lying around and a nice fluffy contouring brush, but for today's video, we have this. Flamingo. <laughs> it kind of looks like a flamingo. This is basically a contouring tool and apparently you hook it on your ear like this and then, well, contour should never be, like, why would it go this way? Oh, Maybe this you put one in your mouth and then you hook it. Yeah, yeah James, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'll be good for your thumbnail. <laughs> Yeah. I can already say this is stupid. I feel like the biggest mistake that people make when contouring is they don't know where to put the actual product and like the angle of which to put it. And this doesn't help. Like, cause you could literally rotate this at any angle and put your contour still anywhere. Just see if it really just changes your life. Oh, James, that's the best your contours ever. Oh my God, you guys are literally James, on that looks so good. Yeah. No, it's not. Yes. Bella Hadid, sweetie, I am so sorry. While I'm trying to fix this and blend this out as best as I can, general rule of thumb, if you are somebody at home that has struggled with contour in the past and you would ever feel like you might need a hack to help you out, the best trick that I've ever learned is to pretend that there's a line from the top of your ear to the corner of your mouth, and that is where you should draw your contour. Also, if you literally just take the end of your makeup brush, like you can feel where your cheekbone is. Mine is right here. And you want to keep that product right on like the base of your cheekbone and blend upwards to create a natural shadow. All right, you guys, so for the eyeshadow portion of this look today, I actually have a ton of different beauty hacks. Some of them I'm excited about and some of them I am just dreading and horrified to even try at this point, but we just need to go ahead and get started. And the first thing that we're gonna do for eyeshadow is of course grab our eyeshadow palette. Now, we picked up this one right here that I've seen a few different ads about. And if you open it up, it just looks like a plain, you know, eyeshadow palette. There's a ton of different colors, nothing really that special for being honest. But what makes this crazy is you can actually take off the top layer and there's some more in there. There's some more. And then you can take off that layer and there's even more in there. Don't be shy, get some more. This eyeshadow palette is 250 colors for 20 to $20? For $20. The James Charles X Morphe palette could never. Of course I'm laughing at this because 252 shades for $20 probably means that these shadows are gonna be pretty cheap quality, but we're gonna give them a fair shot and try them out. And this is almost like nostalgic to me because the first thing that I ever bought when I first started doing makeup was one of those BH Cosmetics palettes that had like a million different colors in it. I saved up for weeks on end and I bought it. And the shadows were definitely not great. BH shadows are really, really good now. So they've improved quite a lot. But if you are an OG makeup community lover, you probably have one of these in your collection. Whoa. Oh, wow. this is sidewalk chalk. Oh, this is so okay. I definitely want to put them to the test today for a fun rainbow look. Since it is June, it is Pride Month. Happy Pride to all my fellow LGBTQ plus sisters out there. I'm sorry for how homophobic this eyeshadow look is probably about to turn out. So first I'm going to dip into this beautiful yellow shade called Marigold right here. We're just going to really pop it onto the eye. Next, I'm going to dip into this nice Tropicana shade right up in here. And we're going to blend that next to the bumblebee. It, this isn't supposed to be like a pastel look, but like if you were going for a pastel vibe, like. <laughs> Next, I'm going to dip into the shade called Tampon right up in here. And we're going to. <laughs> and we're going to blend it into emergency tablet. <laughs> okay, so next we're just going to dip into this nice light pink shade right here called Labia Menorah. <laughs> This is like a nice like pastel look. So now I'm gonna dip into this nice green shade called Lima Bean right here. And we're going to maybe a little bit of this one too. And just really place it. Now I'm gonna dip into this blue shade called Bubble Bath. Are you seeing the fallout? Yeah. Oh yeah. Every Literally the amount of fallout that's happening here, all jokes aside, is like, 
you guess. That's from literally dipping into the blue shade like once. This is chalk the house down boots. And then finally I'm gonna dip into this nice purple shade called Barney Was Arrested. And we're going to finish off the cut crease. All right, so now all the colors are laid on there. And honestly, at this point, it's not looking too bad. Like I said in the beginning, okay, this is one of like the first products that I ever bought. And although the quality is definitely not ideal, you're able to make looks work. I mean, I definitely did it. I know a lot of people out there have as well. So you can make your own decision on whether or not this makeup hack is a fail or a success. But anyway, it is time to move on to our next thing, which is going to be cutting my crease. And instead of using a brush and some concealer, we have this cut crease stamp. Now this for me, I feel like is where this look is going to go very, very south very, very fast. But we're gonna try it out and see what we can actually do. Basically, you are supposed to grab your like crease cutter of choice, whether it be a light concealer or like a liner, put it on here and then you stamp it onto the eyeball and it's supposed to be a perfect cut. All right, you guys, so I just went ahead and put on my favorite white concealer and now, me too. Uh, oh! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not perfect. No, it, Lewis, oh. no, it doesn't. <laughs> Oh. Oh. oh my god. Why did this one end up so much higher than the other one? I mean, come on. We knew that was going to be a fail. Gorgeous. Lies. So now to set these really beautifully cut creases in place, I'm just going to grab this shade right here called Goat's Milk. <laughs> the amount of fallout is like insane. <laughs> All right, our next step. So this apparently life-changing eyeliner product is called the Flick Stick. Now, eyeliner is still to this day probably the thing that I get the absolute most questions, comments, DMs, emails about. Like everyone wants to know how to do their eyeliner and it is very, very tricky. So I can definitely see why a eyeliner hack would be very, very helpful. But apparently this Flick Stick is an eyeliner stamp. The tip of this marker is not an actual tip. It's literally, oh, it's a stamp and it looks like the wing of an eyeliner. So I guess you're just supposed to stamp this on your face and then and the other side is a regular eyeliner. I mean, okay. Yeah, it definitely creates like the stamp. Let's see. Oh, that's hot. No, it's not. Let's go ahead and finish the wing using the other side. This literally feels like I'm using a Sharpie. <sighs> All right, you guys, finally, we are on to our last makeup hack of the day. And this is one that is notorious in the makeup world. You all, I am positive at some point, I've seen an advertisement for these and these are magnetic eyelashes. Now, before we even put these on, I'm gonna tell you, spoiler alert, these are a scam. They're stupid, they do not work. Like, why? Okay, so these eyelashes are longer on this side. So I'm gonna take these like this and I'm gonna put them, how do you even get them to like, to? These tweezers are also metal, so the magnet is sticking to them. Oh, I'm gonna literally scream. I'm getting mad now. Wow. Wow. Okay, I've had enough. Okay, at this point, I have had enough of the makeup hacks. Cut it, quit, this video is over with. All in all, okay, I stand behind what I said in the beginning of today's video. If you are a fellow makeup artist, it really does not matter what you wanna to do to get to the final step. There's so many different tips and techniques and products that you can use that I am fully supportive of doing those, but I would honestly just recommend checking out some different channels here on YouTube. And if you do wanna be an artist, I would definitely recommend learning the actual techniques rather than taking stupid shortcuts like this or like this or like this. That being said, if you guys enjoyed today's video, testing out these hacks, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below to show your love and support and leave me a comment down below and let me know what was like one tip or technique that changed your makeup game forever if you have not already make sure you click that big red subscribe button down below and come join this sisterhood we are 19 million sisters so i'm gonna love to have you in the family and also click that bell icon so you can be notified every time i upload a brand new video if you want to follow me on a makeup journey all my social media accounts are listed right here and if you want to text me on my personal phone number right here for new updates on everything it is 310-905-8746 this video sister shout out goes to Maddie. Thank you so much, love, for always following and supporting. I love you so, so, so much. And if you'd like to be in the next video's sister shout out, don't forget to always retweet my video links when they go live on Twitter. Thank you for watching. I love you so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!